Hey guys, Kimberly Thomason here with VACMD, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Kenmore. Ah, Kenmore canisters. Um, Kenmore, the brand has been around since the beginning of the 1900s, and uh, we've been repairing them for years. But recently, as you know, Sears did declare bankruptcy and has closed many of its doors. So where do you get your vacuum repaired? Here. You can get your vacuum repaired here at VacMD or any local vacuum store. Don't forget about us small guys. Um, we can definitely help you troubleshoot it as well, which is what I'm going to show you how to do today. So you have a Kenmore vacuum and let's say it's not sucking. Well, with many vacuums, many canister vacuums, and Kenmores tend to be canisters, although there are a few of the uprights out there. What I will start by telling you is to remove your hose. Remove your hose, your wand, and your power head. And you're going to take a penny and drop it through your hose and make sure it comes out the other side. If it comes out the other side, that means your hose is not clogged, it's um, free of debris, and you're good to go there. Do that with your wand, do that with your floor tool. Make sure you keep the penny, don't leave it on the ground. You don't wanna vacuum up loose change. It's not good for your vacuum. So um, that would tell you if your vacuum is clogged. If it's still not sucking, check your bag, check your filters, and if it's still not sucking, bring it in. It probably um, has issues that are greater than what I can help you troubleshoot right now. Also, so a lot of these vacuums actually almost all of them come in and they're not turning on. Well, this vacuum is designed to pull behind you. And what do you pull it with? You pull it with your hose. And what gets the grunt of that pulling? Your swivel assembly. This assembly goes right here into your vacuum. There is a lot of electric going on inside there. And every time you pull your vacuum, that swivel assembly is getting the grunt. So we sell these swivel assemblies on our VacMD website. You can go to it and take a look. And these can be replaced on your Kenmore host. So if your vacuum's not turning on, it could be this uh, swivel assembly and the pressure that's been put on it in order every time we drag it. This can be bad. It could also be your wand. It could also be a motor. I mean, there's so many things when it comes to electrical uh, that could be wrong with a vacuum. So your best bet is to bring it in and have us do a continuity test with our testers to tell you exactly where the disconnect is. But like I said, most of the time it's in this. There is a link in the description for to purchase this part. And it's not the easiest to put in, but I know there's a lot of handy people out there. Also, don't forget to follow us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and you can also find a lot of our blog articles on Pinterest. All right, guys, have a great day.